Well, you may be seated. We just wanted to share a few things with you by way of announcements and invitations and things of that nature, and then we'll close out our service uh, in prayer. First off, if you're a guest with us today, there's a little white tab inside of every bulletin. If you want to take that, fill out a little bit of information about you and your family, we would be grateful for that. You can drop it uh, with Chris after the service, with anybody that's been up on stage today. Uh, you can give it to them. I guess that includes the choir. Are you guys down with that? That's right. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just voluntold you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, she's good with it. So, But seriously, please fill out one of those white tabs for us. We'd really appreciate it. Um, right after the service, uh, we're going to make preparations for our huge outreach next Saturday, our Easter egg hunt that we try to put on, God willing, every year. So if you've signed up or you haven't signed up, doesn't matter. Come join us in the FLC, the Family Life Center, Right after the service, we're going to be stuffing Easter eggs. We have lots of eggs to stuff and lots of candy to account for. So uh, if you would join us after the service and help out a little bit, we would be so grateful. We'll have pizza over there and some lemonade, so we'll feed you uh, as well as put you to work. And also, next Saturday, as I mentioned, is our huge, it's our annual Easter egg hunt. Uh, I would encourage you, I would encourage you. First off, pray for this event, that God would use it to reach people, reach children and families with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Also, consider joining us through service. Volunteer with us. There is lots of things that you can be involved with next Saturday at the Easter Egg Hunt. There's bounce houses. There's egg painting. There's food. There's obviously lots of egg hunting and things of that nature. So if you would like to serve with us, I would love to have you. Next Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, be here at the Family Life Center, and I'll put you to work. Uh, 10 o'clock, we'll start the event, God willing, and we'll carry it out for two hours long. And that's all I got, Chris. Walt will put you to work. That's not a joke. <laughs> uh, real quick, I just want to say that uh, we're still in need of uh, some help up there with the audio uh, guys. So... Please, 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 if you uh, feel like you're being called or if you got some knowledge on it, we got a digital board. It's a cool thing that you can play with. So we're looking for some, you know, we're looking for some help up there. And uh, Led by Grace is still in seek of uh, lead guitar, bass players, and uh, uh, male vocal voice maybe. But, uh, yeah, mainly the audio. We're still in the, you know, we need help. We need help up there. So I appreciate if uh, you guys come and help us out. Thank you. Jonathan, if you'll stand with me as I pray this morning, I do want to remind you if you do have children in Children's Church this morning, they've moved upstairs to room 209 and not in the fellowship hall uh, for you to pick that up there, but in 209. If you'll pray with me, please. God, again, we are thankful that we can come to your house today, Father, that we can gather with our church family, God, that we can hear the ultimate message of hope that comes through you and through your death and through your resurrection, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that we can share in that resurrection and that we can share in that life that only you provide, Father. God, we just pray, Lord, though, that we would be that light, that we would share that life, Father, with others that we encounter, God. And we just uh, pray, Lord, again, that as your ambassadors of, uh, in this world, God, that, that would be evident in our faces and how we act and, and what we do, Father. And we just uh, pray these things in Jesus' name as we are the church and we pray that we would be the church as we leave this place. Amen.